Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're going to look at how they are thinking about you. What are their feelings towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what are their intentions towards you towards the future? And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you. What message, you know, would they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you? And let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirit, angels, guides. What guidance, what messages do you have for Gemini in love? What can Gemini expect? Okay. Yin. Okay, number two. This is like um, about receiving, um, letting go, going with the flow, not really doing much. Um, it's more about receiving what is being given to you, accepting what's being given to you. I feel like whatever's going on in love for you right now, Gemini, it's like out of your control. Okay. What else can Gemini expect in love? What can Gemini expect in love? What can Gemini... Oh. Broken silence, honesty, courage, expression. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. What can Gemini exp expect <laughs> in love spirit? What can Gemini expect in love? Tied up and sudden realization. Okay. So again, I with tied up, I'm getting that energy of like, you're there's not much you can do here. This could also be a person that you're dealing with. Maybe they are not able to really make a move at this point or maybe feeling a bit stuck. We'll see what comes out with the tarot. But sudden realization and broken silence to me, it's almost like there's truth coming. There's clarity coming. Some sort of realization someone's having, they might want to speak up about it with broken silence. Bottom of the deck is inner voice. So I do get the sense that somebody here, they have something to say that maybe they've kept to themselves. What else, Spirit? What can Gemini expect in love? What can Gemini expect in love? The Hermit, Virgo energy. So again, that quiet energy of someone not really communicating or or uh, taking action more about it's an energy more about thinking reflecting planning for the future planning your next steps temperance sagittarius energy uh once again there's like you know this um energy of patience working on something taking time with something um to bring it to balance you could be dealing with sagittarius or virgo but I'm not really feeling that very strongly. What can Gemini expect in love, Spirit? What can Gemini expect in love? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, um, Gemini, this is yet again another card about patience, waiting. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles, there's also a bit of an anxiety with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, is this going to play out for me? Is this going to end up the way that I hoped or have worked for? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. That is your energy there. Um, so let's get some clarity about this. I feel like there's something like working, being worked on for some of you behind the scenes. It's like you're not really aware that it's happening, but it is. And Spirit is involved with this yin energy. And then for others of you, I'm getting the sense that there's something that's been slowly coming together here for you with Temperance, the Hermit, and the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Please ignore my dog. Leon. This is my Amazon package. <laughs> he takes it so personal. <laughs> All right. Tell me about the hermit. What do we need to know about this hermit energy spirit? What do we need to know about the hermit? Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the hermit spirit? I feel like you've been seeking for them. Um, yeah, there's the Seven of Pentacles again. It's like you've been waiting for this. Quietly reflecting, waiting. Um, and remember, Gemini, that this could be flipped for your person 
if this is not like your energy this could be your person's energy there's temperance at the bottom of the deck just in case you wanted more confirmation that something's taking its time to develop here and with the seven of pentacles it's like somebody is wondering is this even going to be good is this even going to pan out this ten of pentacles i feel is what you're waiting for yeah there's the two of wands like literally someone like looking out the window like when is this coming what can you tell me about this seven of pentacles i'm just curious what can you tell me about the seven of pentacles even though i'm going to clarify it over there nine of cups yeah this is something that you want this is a wish a desire that you have already whatever you've been waiting for desiring wishing for that's this energy here and there's a three of wands at the bottom of the deck so yeah you're like waiting for this to come towards you waiting for something to come in for you tell me about temperance why is temperance here spirit why is temperance here queen of wands what's this four of wands yeah uh nine of wands at the bottom of the deck aries leo sagittarius energy here with the queen of wands a lot of fire here with temperance the four of wands and the queen of wands i feel like there is something specific that is being worked on here or like that's coming together the four of wands is all about stability happy home happy life celebrations i mean look at these people they look so happy here um it could also be like the quote unquote twin flame card just because there's two wands on either side but what i'm seeing here this is reminding me of this nine of cups and ten of pentacles i'm getting this energy of something that's owed you like this is something you've attracted this is something that's meant for you this is something that's going to make you very happy and it hasn't been easy to get here or to get this nine of wands nine of swords let me see tell me more about this queen of wands and the four of wands what else do we need to know about this energy here spirit what else do we need to know about this energy with the four of wands and the queen of wands wow the tower what why is the tower here something unexpected a shake-up this could also be a revelation of some sort there's there you are gemini with the lovers at the bottom of the deck we're gonna have to clarify that tower a little bit more in a second here but let's move these over so we can get some more room here with the seven of pentacles spirit tell me about the seven of pentacles what do we need to know about this seven of pentacles for gemini what do we need to know about this seven of pentacles six of cups are you waiting for a soulmate gemini or is like are you waiting for someone from the past hang on seven of wands okay Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Seven of Pentacles? Eight of Cups. Wow, Knight of Cups to the bottom of the deck. I feel like most of you here are waiting for someone's return. Either you're waiting for someone to come back to you or you're waiting for them to leave a situation with Eight of Cups. And this could be a soulmate or someone from your past. But it's like you're waiting for this Knight of Cups to arrive. Tell me about this tower. Spirit, tell me about this tower. Ace of Cups. My goodness. It's like a disruption is coming here with the tower, but it's going to bring about new beginning in love. Tell me about the tower. Six of swords. There's a ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like you're getting something. I don't know. It, maybe you're making some sort of move here or with the six of swords or a person that you're thinking about or connecting with. 
is making a move of some sort because we have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. And these are cards about departures, these two energies here. These are cards about people walking away from something and I feel like it's bringing you an Ace of Cups, a Nine of Cups. It's very interesting. Can we get some more insight here on this connection? Can we get some insight here for Gemini on this connection? What does Gemini need to know about this connection? Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship and forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone, wow, and then there's soulmate. I feel like someone in the past, Gemini, was not their true selves with you or deceived you or led you on. Um, and they might be asking for your forgiveness here. For some reason, I think this is something that you want. Let's find out a little bit more about this other person. This person that you're waiting for. What do we need to know about them? I feel like I want to just kind of move these to the side. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Gemini is waiting for? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is waiting for? What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is waiting for? Wow, the three of wands. Uh, yeah, you've been waiting for them to come in. You've been waiting for them for a while, I feel. What do we need to know about this person that Gemini has been waiting for? What do we need to know about them? Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords. So you're waiting to talk to them or get some sort of information from them the truth there's the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck wouldn't be a gemini reading without some sort of divine timing showing up here what do you want to hear from them what's this ace of swords about spirit what do we need to know about this ace of swords for gemini what do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? The moon. Yeah, the Pisces energy here with the moon. This is that like clarity. You want clarity. You want to know something. You want to get to the bottom of something. You want to figure out if something is real or not. King of Swords. Yeah. You just want the truth. There's a sun. Clarity. You want to know the truth about what this person is thinking, feeling here. There's the Knight of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting to get confirmation or waiting for clarity from this person, waiting for them to speak up, to break the silence here. Queen of Swords and the Hermit. So yeah, I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. Someone's been withdrawn. Someone has been quiet with the Hermit. You could be waiting for someone that's a Virgo or a Pisces. It does not have to be, but... And I feel like you just want to know what they're thinking, feeling, what they're planning. You just want to hear from this person. And there's a Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So if they are coming with an offer, it's going to be some time, I feel, before they come to you or get to you here, Gemini. What else do we need to know about what this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini? I feel like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> What do we need to know about this person? Um, what do they want to tell Gemini spirit? What message do they have for Gemini? I hide behind material things. I'm so attracted to you. I feel like this person hides the fact that they're into you. Um, maybe they just aren't confident or maybe they feel like they can't come forward and tell you how they really feel. Um... I get the sense that maybe they're a bit intimidated. The Queen of Swords is a little intimidating. They're not easy to approach because they're so kind of tough on the exterior. What else does this person want to tell Gemini? What else do they want to tell Gemini? This is from my Secret Moon deck. I want to fix this. 
and I'm afraid at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like, remember what I was just saying about being intimidated? You know, it's like someone that wants to come forward, but is a bit afraid to do so. And I also feel like, you know, this deception card, maybe they didn't deceive you in the past. Maybe they just weren't honest about their feelings, right? Like maybe they downplayed their feelings or hid their true feelings from you. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about them? Loyal, faithful, and dependable. So this might be how they see you, Gemini, or just the fact that after all this time, they're still faithful to you. Um, maybe they're with someone else, or maybe they're in another, you know, situation, but it doesn't mean that their feelings for you have changed. Um, some of you, there's something with like an actual dog. I'm getting like a, I'm seeing a Christmas tree. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> Maybe this was a Christmas present or a dog and you and this person had like a Christmas thing. Obviously that's not for everyone. Okay, can I get one more message for Gemini? One more message for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Any messages for Gemini Spirit? What does Gemini need to know? Courtship. So this is the beginning of a connection. This is like traditional ways of approaching a relationship. Great fortune at the bottom of the deck. So this reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune here. Wow, and the Magician after that. So I do sense Gemini, wow, and the Ten of Cups after that. This is something that you have been manifesting, wanting, have created. An opportunity, a change, something in divine timing is happening here. But I get the sense that this is like behind the scenes. Like this is this is out of your control. Whatever this is, even though you've manifested it, you specifically can't make it happen for whatever reason. And let me know if that's clear, um, resonating for you in the comments. But it's almost like you want this really badly, but you yourself cannot make this happen. It's probably up to your person. They're the ones that have to really follow through and open up the line of communication here, or at least bring that clarity that you so desperately want. I feel like you just want to know the truth. You just want to know what they're thinking or feeling about you. You know, you just want them to open up to you, maybe to admit something that you've known all this time, or, you know, that's the energy I'm getting. It's like, you already know this information. You just want to hear it from them. Uh, I'm going to extend this and I'm going to look at what you, you can expect uh, next uh, in this connection and your person's intentions. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helped me. It helps me out a lot. I can't even get my words out. Uh, I appreciate everyone that takes the time to do that. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.